Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to show you a lesser known group of filters, mainly one filter we're going to concentrate on for this video, and that is the Depth Aware Haze Filter. Now you may have not seen uh, this or even heard about it, uh, and that's because it's a beta fi uh, filter. Beta filter. That means basically it's it's not a complete filter. They're still working on the idea of the uh, of the type of effect, uh, and they're still working on it. Uh, Photoshop and Adobe, uh, they're still working on that filter, but uh, they kind of want to give you a little tiny bit of a sneak peek on uh, what you can expect from maybe some new features coming out. So I'm going to show you where that is, how you can play with it, and uh, use it on your photos. So here we have this portrait here. So I'm going to go to Filter, Neural Filters, and it's going to take me into another little area uh, where your Neural Filters box is, and you're going to see Beta down here. If you click that, uh, you're going to see a list of beta features here. Now, some of these ones that don't have beta, uh, don't have a beta or cloud icon next to them, you basically can click on them, see what's going on, and say you're interested, and then it'll kind of walk you through some steps. But these ones are actually uh, come with Photoshop, the latest version of CC. Uh, and if you don't have them, you can actually download them here uh, to use it first. But the two that we're going to uh, pay attention to in this uh, video, uh, mainly this one, is the depth aware haze and the smart portrait. So the depth aware haze is right here and to toggle that on you basically just click this button to turn the filter on and you can see it automatically uh, starts to affect your image. Now what it's going to do is apply haze to your image uh, but do it in a smart way. So it takes your portrait, uh, your person here uh, in this example, kind of cuts them out a little bit and applies a haze behind them. That's why it's called depth aware haze. So you have these uh, few filters uh, sections that you can play with. So you can increase the haze, decrease the haze. You can increase the warmth of the haze so you can warm it up a little bit. Uh, or you can take the brightness and uh, brighten that up a little bit as well. Or you can darken it down, whichever one you want to do. Now, one thing I want to show you when you change this, I'm going to go ahead and change this to dark all the way. This little icon up here is spinning, and it's uh, trying to apply the effect. Now, obviously, I'm not going to like that, uh, that effect, but uh, I wanted to show you that depending on your computer and your internet speed, it might take a little bit for this filter to take effect because all of this stuff is being processed in the cloud. You can see where it says this filter processes image data in the cloud. So it's going to take a little bit depending on your computer specifications. Um, but uh, you know, if you, if you see it spinning for a while, maybe try to change it up a little bit to see if it refreshes. Um, so again, you can apply this cool haze effect to your portraits here. Now I'm going to uh, kind of briefly go over the smart portrait as well since it's the only other one that is installed. So I'm going to take this off here. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these so it doesn't apply anything to uh, my portrait here. And I'm going to click this one on as well. Now this is a feature that is kind of a more advanced uh, liquify feature um, where uh, they have these smart liquefaction where you can you know take the eyes and make them bigger, uh, make a smile, all that kind of stuff. This is kind of a, a different way of doing it. And this is actually some uh, what a, a lot of popular apps do uh, out there where you can um, you know change the the facial features, uh, make the make them look older, younger, that sort of thing. And it's kind of a fun feature. Now it's not very accurate, I have found. Um, so if I were to say take the uh, facial age, click that and just drag it all the way up, you'll see what happens here. So there you go. See, it changes the age of the person. Uh, it does do a little bit uh, of a good job adding the wrinkles and all that kind of stuff in, but you see there's a little bit of artifact going over on this area here that you would have, probably have to clean up. But you can see it's got a really cool, uh, really cool set of features on it. Uh, you can do a gaze. You can do hair thickness. We'll go ahead and try that one out and see what that does for us. So there you go. It adds a lot more volume to the hair right in the front there, you can see. Uh, so very, very cool features to play around with. Again, I wouldn't um, bank on these being the most accurate features. Uh, but again, this is all beta stuff here. This is all stuff that's still in development, but just trying to give you a little sneak peek of what could be coming to Photoshop. So thank you guys for joining me in this quick little tutorial. This has been Jordan from Sleekguns, and I'll see you in the next video.